What is up, beautiful people of the internet? I am Wesley. I'm Stephanie. And this is Wes and Steph. Guys, today we are reacting to James Charles giving JoJo Siwa a makeover. But let's be real. I'm, we're here for the interview. We love when James does these videos. I feel like it's almost a podcast. It's really, really cool. And that being said, we really freeze framed them. And that is me having a sugar <laughs> rush. And that is Stephanie having to deal with it. Or that is me on the sugar rush, too. That's your sugar rush right there, yeah. covered in gems. <laughs> that being said, guys, with Wes and Steph, we do reactions every Monday through Friday of your favorite YouTubers. So if there's anybody or any videos we haven't reacted to yet, please link them in the comments down below. And come and watch and hang out with us because we have fun. Let's go. Okay, ready? No nope. fly. Hi, sisters. James Charles Nailed here, it. and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see, tonight I'm joined with a very special and iconic guest. Thank you. Glitter Jojo hair. <laughs> hey, everyone, it's Jojo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, you guys. I oh. am so scared. I. Uh, James. Is this my dream? <laughs> and my nightmare at the same time. I'm huh? asking Jojo to film a video. Okay, how old is Jojo? I believe 18. No way. I think so. I think JoJo is actually 18. No. I know she's from Dance Moms. I've seen her before. We've watched a couple of her videos. So we react to a couple of her we videos? We reacted to a video of JoJo before we made Wes and Stuff. It was one of the first videos we ever reacted to together. And one of the reasons we actually made the channel. Oh, there you, you go. It yeah. was never published anywhere, though. So you guys won't be able to find it. Oh, that's a bummer. But I liked her a lot. I thought she was fun. She was so... Her, you're her looking energy, for her age, yeah, her right? Age. For literally almost two years, two years 17. Now. Two years, okay? Wow. And I've we're going to dive into that. I've been wanting to, too. That's a lie. I've been wanting to. That's I just haven't been wanting to do this. Lie. Okay, that's fair. I said I want to, but I just okay. don't want to do that. But I now feel. I'm like, I'm comfortable. We're going to do it. Yeah. For today's video, I'm giving JoJo a full-on makeover. No glitter, no rhinestones. Getting my makeup done, number one, is just like a no. Like, yeah. I like to do it. I don't let anybody else do really? it. Really? just a no. My hair... Okay. Uh, even more so. I'm I nervous too because I want to make sure that the look is appropriate. That <laughs> yeah, you like it, that you feel I know. <laughs> this is going to scar me for the next five years. There's I think it's just crazy because she obviously embodies like the life and spirit of kids and that's who looks up to her, you know, and that's who watches her stuff. And She's also not that old. I mean, she's 17. She's 17. Yeah. But I mean, also though, I mean, feel like most girls have like gone so far in the other extreme or try to to or make just themselves I feel like older. most kids in general, they're like, I want to, everyone is see me as an adult yeah and so this is this is just very different and so i'm curious it seems like she just does this like in her real life too it's not like an on-camera persona it's not just an act or something yeah. it might be like a played up version of herself but yeah it's something yeah she obviously wants to do yeah, yeah i get what you're saying i'm like, curious like it is her aesthetic it's not just like a brand or nickelodeon or something being like jojo wear this yeah i'm yeah. curious if that will ever change for her so many things that i want to talk to you about today your rise to fame you being an internet superstar thank you jojo and her bobo you me. being a business I'm mogul excited. okay i feel like people need to understand how much of a genius that you actually are going on Thank in there. You. Jojo and I did make a business deal. We I would did. get to really? give her a full transformation in exchange. She gave me a full transformation into Jojo oh my on her yes. channel. So it's make sure you guys amazing. go check that out. It's absolutely insane. Thank you for this scary. deal. This, this how this things get done right here. <laughs> and if you guys want to see Jojo in a full on transformation, a full makeover, keep on watching. I do. I'm very, very curious. Is he going to do her hair too? I can't, I can't imagine yet. her without her. Ah, no. But this is going to be so much fun. You have to trust me. I trust you. But before we jump into Fair today's me. transformation, <laughs> you obviously have quite a lot on right now. I do. I went full JoJo because I need to feel she the did. most JoJo. So that way when I'm so not, like I'm no Jo, then <laughs> like I'm good, you know? Okay. Perfect. Well, I think we should get you changed, get everything off so we can get started on this makeover completely fresh. Okay? Yeah. Dude, honestly, guys, I've, I've been watching. I think JoJo blinks at a slightly like slower rate than a normal human human being or like slightly less often that is the weirdest I've observation been, you've ever made she I, well I was noticing that she was like super like ready to go like she just took Red she, Bull before this bro she, she, I guys. think she can hold her eyes open longer <laughs> yeah. do right, not get into Jojo a staring and I are contest back. she has no makeup on so Aww. Jojo the first thing that I want to ask you about before this video today before we even <laughs> get into all the exciting skin. things that I want to ask you about okay I texted you asking to collaborate on February 7th 2019 mm -hmm. and I said Jojo <laughs> 2018 <laughs> yes. I said, I want to do a video together so bad where I give you a full transformation. Yes. And talk about how you're a business mogul, all these things. You did. And you literally responded, and I quote, 
hey, sorry, I can't do that. I did. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, at the time, you have to think, I was 15. Yes. That was a lot scarier to me because I was so young, yes. you know? Well, so like, this is obviously something very, very different for you. And we're doing this like Super full transformation where I want to turn you into, not an Instagram baddie, but a, a just like a glam We teenager, like, we, right? make, we met in the middle. I didn't want to yes. be an Instagram baddie, but Which I did that. <laughs> but I also was like, yeah. She's like, that would ruin my image. <laughs> something different. Like, I, I get why like you wouldn't want to do a pink unicorn look because what's the difference, right. you know? I feel like when I first wanted to do the collaboration with you, it was with good intentions. Like I wanted to give totally. you a full makeover, but I think at that time, you know, a big thing in the internet is like a lot of people think you're like acting or this is like some crazy totally. character for you. Mm -hmm. I was even one of those people that maybe believed like, okay, maybe this is some sort of like act, like act let's show like the real Jojo and totally. stuff. But like now I'm understanding like this is the glitters, the bows, everything. It's she all like it. so many people do She's these still characters. so much glitter on. And like the reason why it works for me and like why my life is how it is is because it's not a character, you right. know? And like, I'm in charge. You know, at the end of the day, like it really is me in charge. Obviously I have Nickelodeon and I'm a manager and I'm a mom, but like they're all working under me, if that makes sense. Period. But I'm working yes. under them. Like it's, we, everyone I work with, like I don't want to be like, you're the boss or I'm the boss. Like right. I want to just like figure it Team out together. Work. Yeah. No, yeah, that's very, we are very much the same way here. That's cool team. that they treat her in that. There's glitter, glitter everywhere. I well, know. you know. <laughs> is there always glitter everywhere on you? Yes, my house, like if you walk through my house, your feet will just turn glitter. Oh, that's great. It's insane. But no, I obviously, like I wanted it's to do a scary. video with you always. Like you're James Charles. But I was like, I just, I can't, but I don't know what to do, but no. I can't do it, but I want to do it, but I want to do it, I don't know. Well, I think what opened back up the conversation was honestly like when you started posting your TikToks. Totally. Because I feel like we've seen you in glitters and bows and Ryan's just posting all that is classic JoJo. But I started I feel to like, kind of explore. I haven't seen it like that Yes, before. and for me, like as a fan, I was like, oh my God, this is so exciting. Yeah. And as a friend who would ask you to collab, I was like, oh, she's like, giving the reveal that I wanted. I do makeup all the time. My makeup is such a huge part of my brand, but like I am in sweatpants at the end of each night totally. as well. So I think it's so cool that you're like not afraid to show that. Although for the longest time, I actually did sleep with a bow in and a side ponytail. You're I okay. What? Anymore, but like dance mom's days. Yeah. Every single night. Literally every single night. Jojo. I would wake up and I would just re slick my hair. Oh, yeah, take my hairline, make it really receding. <laughs> so far back. We're gonna put some good contour to really bring it forward. I love it. I wanna ask you because I feel like dance moms was. Isn't that bad for your hair? You if always. If you pull it back that much, that it will cause it to receive. I don't know. It sounds like sheets. She said it. Didn't she just say it? It will. I've always had that impression, but I didn't know if it was true or not. My absolute favorite show growing up. I've seen every single episode, so every single season. I so would challenge times. you to a dance moms who knows more. Well, considering you were on the show, I think you'd probably win. <laughs> when I was on the show. Oh. That love show me. was literally my everything. And I feel like a lot of the girls that were on the show, no shade to any of them because I love all of them, totally. don't like talking about it. They don't like talking about it, yeah. But I like that you still Why? do. Everybody can do whatever they want. Totally. Like, of course, it, I, I mean, I've only seen your little meme cutaways of the show, but it seems like it may have been slightly traumatic for those involved, okay. especially if they were maybe like 10. A lot of, there are a lot of jokes made about their parents. I get that. It's a childhood, so of course it everyone is. like has a right to totally. do, or do whatever, whatever they, they want, want about do. it. Yeah. Like, is there a reason that you still do talk about it and like so openly? You know, at the end of the day, Dance Moms was our lives and it was a reality TV show and it wasn't scripted, but like at the same time, like it was a TV show, you know? And right. like off camera, like it was always so much fun. And for me, I think I can just see like oh. past all the bad and yeah. like I don't want to remember the bad memories you know you always have a choice in life to look at the bright side of the dark so side yes. positive. And I think very much the same way totally and for me with dance I was like I just try to remember like the fun memories and like hanging out with Abby and hanging out with the girls and hanging out with the crew and doing school like going to the competitions and being stressed but then like the winning you know it's so, like I know that I would be nothing without dance moms like it's where I started it's what got me my platform and so without it I'd be nowhere and so I was like you so gotta she's the main one who took advantage of that right I don't know that a There's lot of some, the other girls did uh, they're pretty big they are? on other platforms and stuff. They're not as big as JoJo, but yeah. like who JoJo's huge, so yeah. it's not Fair. really a good barometer, right? Yeah. Where you came from, you know? Yeah. Always. Always. That's Come on, really... cover girl. No, yeah, literally. <laughs> I, was gonna, remember. I was gonna say it's really cool to look at it that way. Like I obviously I like had the opportunity of working with Cover Girl. I don't actively do <laughs> anything with them anymore. anymore but like I'm I'm so grateful. But you would never go talk about them. I would never them. talk bad about them. Totally. Like they literally gave me the platform that I have today and like I'm so grateful for that. Like I'd yep. be nowhere without Cover Girl, so oops, excuse me. I've never actually booked concealer on. What? I don't do it. You're kidding. No. I'm giving it to you, gal. So you were just speaking about how you always like to look at the positives and things. And I, I do. love that. And I very much think the same way. How do you always stay so positive and so bubbly? And like, does that ever turn off, especially when the camera's yeah. off? Yeah, good no, question. It never turns off. The only thing that happens is, I'm not gonna, I wouldn't say the word shy, but like in public, I'm either super extrovert or super introvert. Like I just like my really? group of people. Like I don't, like if I'm at like a party, right. I'm so like in my little bubble. She goes bubble. to parties. But yeah, I don't know. I just like to stay really that positive. That seems I don't, strange. 
strange. It's to probably me. like social in- media influencer brand parties and stuff. Yeah. Can you imagine being I would like JoJo glammed out? Like you're glammed out to that to the nines like that, and then being shy at the same time. No. No one's gonna think you're shy. Everyone's just gonna think you're. Uh, that would be so weird. To you're go pretentious to those... if you're like if you dress that loudly. Shy behavior is no, because everybody you know knows I mean? who she is too. I don't really have like a switch that goes off. It's just like kind of whatever's in the moment. I don't know. You know? I feel that. Depends on who I'm around, but how I stay positive is really my people around me. I always say like you have to have a good team, obviously, because that's who you work with all day. But you also have to go yeah, have good friends. Yeah, I believe she wasn't wearing you know? makeup. And I, I, have, I have great friends and cr- the best friends in the whole world. I feel like we honestly have quite a lot of like similarities just in terms of our internet existences. We both have really loyal fan bases, but I feel like a lot of people outside of our fan bases find us annoying. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. It's like, it's a very huge Although, thing. We've like, both been able to make a joke out of our memes. Totally. Like stay positive and like- <laughs> Over oh, quarantine, forward. my fan base has completely changed. Like for the better, it's insane. So it used to be like super young kids, which is yeah. amazing and incredible. And I love my little babies so much. And now it's like still the young kids, but it's also like teenagers. Cause of really? TikTok, they realize like, oh, she's not fake and she's not yeah. crazy. Like, she's a normal person. It's like a whole new group of people. It's awesome, yeah. Yeah. She's not that cr- I mean, like, she's bubbly and, and energetic and stuff, but I don't feel like she's any more so than other bubbly, energetic people in this interview. No, I I think she's charming. Can I look forward? Gosh, she's doing such a good job already. Oh, I love setting powder. Uh, so much on my face. His eyelashes so also. I oh, love. I feel like you're used to it from performing, huh? So much. I remember at one point when um, TikTok had like first started before you really like joined the app and started making yeah. a lot of videos. I feel like there was a lot of videos going around of the tour. People being like, oh my God, I can't believe like kids go to this and stuff, which made totally. me so mad. Like, totally. It's very obvious to me that you are just literally trying to have fun and are making so many wow. young kids really, really happy. Whoa, and I truly don't people. understand like where people wow. are having a problem with that. Right? It's crazy. But for me, I'm like, hey, they're posting about my tour, but it's insane. I mean, like the kids scream everything. Like it's insane. And the parents too, the parents are- What did she do that was controversial? My skin looks good. Do you like? Yeah. Great. It looks phenomenal. Catch me. Catch me. You might get me. Wait, you hold the brush. You hold the brush. I can't. <laughs> Did you drink a little bit too much JoJo's juice before coming over? Why haven't you come out with JoJo's juice before? I haven't. Oh, period. Oh, it's in water. Uh, of course it is. <laughs> oh my god. JoJo Speaking juice. of things in Walmart, I want to know, okay. Miss Queen of Licensing. Okay. Can you name for me all of your products? In like just in Walmart or everywhere? Everywhere. What? <clears throat> no, like it's crazy. If we went to Walmart right now, there's like JoJo Siwa branded stuff like in our local Walmart. Oh, I know there is. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's it's awesome. Nuts. Good for her. And, and it can't all be her. It's got to be like her mom and what do you, Mar- the what manager do you mean? too. Who are like, like putting it together? Yeah, because yeah. she's done this from such a young age. So we'll start with accessories. That's like the bows. That's like earrings. That's like necklaces. That's like bracelets. That's like scrunchies, purses. Sure, sure. Then we have bedding. Bedding oh, at home. So okay. bedding at home is like... <laughs> Actually, I have the number one girls betting in Target. Does she really? Oh I'm the number one girls betting, and I'd the number two that. overall kids betting. I think Star Wars is what's ahead of me. Oh, yeah, so rude. Rude. There's JoJo furniture too, so there's like JoJo like chairs, bean bags. What? Um, yeah. Toys are my number one category in like that's like my number one seller for everything. Your toys are outselling your bows. Yes, my toys and my betting and my apparel all outselling. What? My bows. So regardless, hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue for JoJo's I, bows. My brand is a billion dollar brand. Oh my god. Look at her face when she said that. She was so serious. Yeah. It wasn't a She's joke. Like, my brand is a billion dollar brand. Yeah. <laughs> With a b b b Any of haters out there? I mean, she's rich. That's, now, I'm not a billion. I do not have a billion dollars. <laughs> like, so like, like, I didn't make that very clear. Yes. I am not like... So many people are... Totally. Right. But like the JoJo Siwa brand is a billion dollar brand, which is insane. That is insane. She like called us out and we're, just, we're both just like, okay. <sighs> still. We were just excited for you, okay? Like, I mean, it doesn't matter. She's, I know, I know. She's still she rich, is rich the brand. it's still funny. It's crazy. literally insane. No, no, no. Because there's like equity and ownership yeah, stakes yeah, yeah, and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know yeah. that. But I'm just saying, like, without her, if she yeah, went away, yeah. the whole brand goes away. It doesn't exist. It's, it's her name. Make fun of somebody that's 17 years old well, because I'm a giant toddler dollars. and I have a receding hairline. I would make fun of me, too. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of sad. I feel like her hairline, I don't know why. It's not even bad. Like, I don't know. People just... 
probably want to make fun of people for the sake of making fun of her. I like it. Like maybe she, it's literally receding, but I've, I've seen such, my my hairline is not receding and it's worse. <laughs> exactly. It's I'm the same sure as when I was 16. Wearing, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. I love not knowing. I'm sure. Because obviously you're, I'm sure you're creative directing all this stuff, but like who's like running this? Nickelodeon. Oh, she got the big contract. Yes. So they're they're handling like all licensing, all marketing, like literally everything. Totally. Okay. So you were 100%. Right? I want to fuck out only a few straight hairs. Because you said it, it can't just be her. It can't yeah. just be her. Yeah, yeah. How many? You were right. Pick your number. Five. Eleven. No. Twelve seconds later. Oh. Ah! Okay, you get two more on this eyebrow. What? Excuse two more. Me. No. Oh, good. Is that one right there? Nope, it's above it. This one. Yep. Hurts my no. eyes. I'm gonna kill you. All right, you guys. So JoJo's face. Oh, is it done? No, yeah. not you too. JoJo's face is all on, and she is currently baking in the oven at 350 I'm degrees. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> um, no, I, I want to do her brows quickly off my camera. My brother brows. Oh my god, JoJo. We've been having a great conversation. Off cousin camera. No, stop. <laughs> Mr. Stop. We're gonna go do my brother brows. Let's go. She's fun. Cousin cut. <laughs> we are brother back. No. The brows are both on. How do you feel about them? Because you've never had your brows on that you like. You know, I, I'm sticking to my plan. I look like a dude, but I'm here I for it. I did completely she disagree. Doesn't. And She's I'm here for it, but I, I want to give my opinions on the final look. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Time for eyeshadow. Look at, see all these nice and rainbow colors? Mm -hmm. We should use those. We're actually oh, not. Her brows are definitely mad like, right now, though. The whole point is that we're taking it. I think they look great. Your comfort zone. So I kind of want to do something like neutral. Coming from someone oh, like, just like oh, someone who does first go on life. Fully opposite of me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit of concealer and I'm going to just lightly cut JoJo's crease. Oh, wait. I'm gonna use some glitter on you. <gasps> I just. <laughs> <laughs> so to just take you one more time, one more time. What do you I'm gonna use some glitter no, on you. No, James, no. Like teal glitter. Nope. Okay, <laughs> teal I'm just gonna glitter. use one of the Stila liquid metals. Mm -hmm. That's so pretty. That is really pretty. I that know. That's gorgeous. <laughs> the father fan. No. Okay, I got oh some really still done. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do the eyeliner. One second. We love a winged eyeliner. We do. We okay. love a bubble wild wing. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a shadow below your lash line now. <laughs> just gonna grab a little bit of face and a little bit of ring light I as well. I feel like James like, this is serious, Jojo. This is serious. Oh, just for that inner corner glow. Okay, you guys, so I think that is what I done on Sister Siwa. I knew you were gonna say it. Thank it you. So we're gonna cut for a little bit and do the other one off camera, apply some lashes, and be right back to finish the rest of this look. Okay, you guys, we are back in both. What? I'm excited. Oh, I see what I see. Are you gonna come off? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that is quite the reveal. I was oh going my god. Reveal. How are you feeling so far? I feel heavy. She looks heavy. beautiful. Yeah, my eyes feel heavy. But they look pretty. <laughs> I take back what I said about the eyebrows for the record. Yeah, her eyebrows like, look In the context perfect. with the makeup and everything, they don't look too dark or intense or anything. No, they're perfect. I okay, so I have one last question for this makeup process while okay. I do it your lips. And then of course we have the full transformation. Jojo, you are only 17 years old. You've become a global superstar. Yeah. I want to know, where do you see yourself when you're like double your age? <laughs> like when you're 30, yeah. what are you going to be doing? It's so do. weird to think about. I mean, in the future, what I, my next like big goal is I want to perform at the Super Bowl. That's like oh my god, that would be everything. Major thing I want to do. I want to perform at the Super Bowl. I love performing. Really? Performing is like my number one thing. Like it makes me the happiest. I love doing it. I want to keep being on tour. I want to keep releasing new music, new music videos, and hopefully eventually I'll be at the Super Bowl. That's, my That's goal. everything. Well, I'll be right there in front of so Actually, just I'll be back up there. Lovely. <laughs> yeah. Give me yeah. the backup dance. Well, it seems like it's like back ending into performances. She's like, well, I want to perform. In order to perform, I need music. So the music, it's funny. It seems like she's an amazing performer though. Like the outfits, her energy. Yeah. That's, it seems to me that's what she's most passionate about. Like and the, it's like, how do I get to do that? Yeah. Right? And she's yeah. like, I'll wear whatever. I'll dress in this costume. But I want to Not whatever. If it's not whatever. It's sparkly, big, yeah. and has a bow. Which is most performance outfits. <laughs> Perfect. We're going to go off camera, get JoJo changed, yeah. do a little judging to her hair, and I'll be right back to show you all. Oh, he's doing your hair. Look. Oh, wow. She doesn't, I would not recognize her as the same person. No. She looks great. She looks beautiful. I mean, she's cute before. Cute and fun and sparkly, but she's gorgeous. Don't know how you got me to do this. I have no idea. Do you like that? I do. I will say it's very pretty, and you did a wonderful job on the hair and on the makeup. You really, I know, really I'm bringing did. back the hair by James Roots yeah. for this. No, you did do really good. The makeup is stunning. It's very pretty. It's obviously very, it's not me. I mean, it's very classy. Like, you yeah. did such a classy look for her. She looks like an old-timey actress. Yeah. Especially, like, with how expressive her facial expressions are. Mm -hmm. There's a thing in a lot of the older silent movies, people are much more, like, 
expressive because when you're a theater actor, you have to be more expressive so that the audience can see you further back. So a lot of the first waves of actors were a lot more expressive. And mm. I feel like JoJo legit looks like first wave movie star Marilyn right now. Monroe. And you know how I showed yeah. up here in Marilyn. sparkles and bright pink and neon and rainbow. and But it is really pretty and you did an incredible job. And like I said, if it was on any other human, I'd be like, that human is the most stunning person in the whole well, world. Well, you literally look the most but stunning in the entire world. Absolutely I feel beautiful. like a different version. I feel like I'm Joelle right now. Oh! oh. Joelle. oh. oh. Well, JoJo, thank you so much for coming <laughs> on the channel today. Thank of you course. for trusting me through this it. glam this process. Joke. Two years in the making and I am just so glad that we got to sit down together and me I got too. to pick your brain about how much of a genius you actually are. Thank you for thank inspiring you. me. Thank you for inspiring kids all around the world with everything that you do and thank you for also teaching them. Oh, that literally I'm just staring at her. Anything, any dream can come true. Period. If you guys enjoyed this crazy smile. transformation on the queen, Jojo Siwa, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your love and support. Also click that subscribe button. She's like, she doesn't want to look at the viewfinder anymore. I know. I every time she's, oh. like, I she's like, I'm just gonna stare at James. It's funny how you can be so uncomfortable with something that's like outside of your realm or aesthetic, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I get it. It makes sense. I'm not saying even if you look fabulous. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It's not something you're comfortable if it, with. It's, it's not like who you are. Your identity is being violated because it's not something that you would wear. Like her identity is so associated with the clothing and the the glitter and the bows. Like that's part of her self image. So then wearing this something like that's not... feels like a costume. Not, yeah. For her, probably. It feels like a... I wonder if, like, the more she does this and... If she does. If she, if does, she does more does. of this, if that would, like, help her find, an, like, an older version of herself one day, like, years and years in the future, or she'll just be the sparkly person for the rest of her life, and she could do that, too. Because to be fair, I mean, how many of us are made to, to get, to, like, age ourselves up by society or even by school if kids will make fun of us? Like JoJo yeah. didn't have to do that because she wasn't in school and she's I feel making like she's all this getting money, a lot. So. I feel like she'll get a she gets a lot of pressure to age herself up. I feel like from her friends, peers, that's comments. Fair. I, that's this, fair. The like YouTube comments. internet as a whole. Yeah, I feel at like, least she has her fans though. Yeah. So there's like a voice. And back. there's always younger kids who will mm -hmm. always look up to that. Brand new video. Oh, this is some JoJo Siwa fast talking. Oh, right let's there. hear it. Let's hear it. If you want to follow me on my makeup journey, all my social media links are gonna be. If you guys, if you want to follow me on my makeup <laughs> journey, yeah, but all JoJo Siwa doesn't mess up. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> if you want to follow me on my makeup journey, all my social media accounts are gonna be linked right here on the screen. And if you want to text me on my personal phone number for new updates on videos, photos, merch, and so much more, it is three one zero nine zero five eight seven four six. This video is just Sadako's sister Clarice. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. I love you so much. So, so much. Cousin Clarice. No. Oh my <laughs> like goodness. Video. Sister Shadow, don't forget to always retweet me with links when I go live on Twitter and also turn on my YouTube post notifications. Let's do Make it. sure you guys check out the video we did over on JoJo's channel where she transformed me into her. Talk go so check her out on tour as well. She's a living legend. And make Thank sure you, you buy all of your JoJo branded products. I'll see the next Target, video. Walmart, Claire, Tomorrow, and maybe. Every if other Amazon is a big one for me. In the entire world. Everywhere. <laughs> Thank you again to JoJo for joining us. Of course. Thank you for having me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. If I ever have a little girl, I'm like, I would be totally fine with her watching Jojo Siwa, you know, and looking up to her. I think she's such a great role model, you know, for for very younger audience from everything I've seen so far. Maybe and we'll just be like, hey, where's your branded Target product, kid? Oh, I know. Where, kid? Just kidding. We're not letting her watch. Where, where? We don't want to spend $50 million on bows and Jojo Siwa furniture. Oh, no, no. I'm in their merchandise product. Oh. <laughs> like, Russell Baby, where's, no. where are you in Target? No. How, how much income are you bringing in? Stop that. We are not that tight. <laughs> that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Weston Step. We do reactions every Monday through Friday. We hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. If you want more content, Wesley Solo Rambles, link down below. Dramatic video. I don't know. Maybe don't watch it. He he does videos, it's and sad. they're cool, and yeah, they're fun and interesting. Sad. I don't know. Okay, so now apparently saying you not to watch it, but which yeah, means you should go sad. watch it. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. I don't want to bring you guys down after JoJo. It just feels wrong. It's like not, you can't bring it's someone. It's educational and interesting. It's informative. Bye.